is uh, day two of going thrifting this week because we didn't get quite enough stuff on um, Monday and I just haven't been back. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna thrift for the thrift haul, get some things for reselling, um, but we're also gonna try to find a piece of furniture to flip. We did sell the desk. If you guys saw the one where we did like the textured stenciled sides yep. and we need something about that same size and we don't really have anything in the garage it's either too small or too big. So we're gonna try to find something, a little piece of furniture that we can thrift flip really quick and do some more thrifting for our Saturday haul. We're gonna try to go to Goodwill and see what we can find there. Sometimes they have furniture, sometimes they don't. Luckily, there's a Deseret Industries thrift store right across the street from the Goodwill. So cross our fingers, we only gotta go a couple places. Well, the weather changed quickly, look at that. <laughs> 20 minutes down the road and it's like snow flurries. The good news is Goodwill's parking lot is usually not too full, so we shouldn't have to park too far away. Someone's taking their time this morning. Actually, this afternoon. I forgot my phone. Oh. No carts today. I wonder if they're out in the parking lot. There's not that many people here. I'm over here shopping cartless. Amber bottles. This one looks like it's actually older. $2.99. I think we can soak that off. All right, snagged a cart from my friend who has done shopping. So I'll meet up with Zeb and see what he finds. I got a cart. Oh, what about that amber bottle? I got another one, but I was going to snag that too. I was oh. just waiting for you to come around the corner and be like, Ooh, Oh, look at this one. That? Yeah, get How much is that? Three dollars. Eh, that's a good price. I can still sell it for like ten or twelve. Oh, we're getting more bunny stuff. Look at that. I'm like, if it's three bucks, though, I'm out. No, nah, it's two. Two, I, that's fine. I think that's good. <laughs> Nobody came and bought that since the no last time we were here. Yeah, it's too scratched up. I need to like figure out how to unscuff them. This coffee one is not scuffed. No, it had some scuffs on it last week. That's cute. Two bucks, October 92. I think this just needs like a little- um, I was 11. Yeah, you were 11 and 92. I think this just needs a uh, frame painted. That's cute. I like the little countryside. All right, we'll see what we got here. Was it here? Where was the store with that um, teapot without the lid? Everybody's like, oh, you should have got that. <gasps> There's a lot of teapots here. That one's kind of simple. Oh, these are Christmassy. $3.99. I'm trying, I'm trying to stay clear of Christmas, but. So I know we don't buy pictures often, but look at the bottoms on these. No, those are cool. I would get those because they like, would. It's like on purpose to make it look like a little like, like water drop or something. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be good for floral. <clears throat> I'm going to think about these teapots because Clark Traditions, made in Japan. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below if you would get those or not. I'm gonna leave these here and see if Jamie comes and snags them. Look at that though. It'll be on top for honey, $2.99, oh, Ray done. See if any of these are something we want. Cutting board, I usually skip on the bamboo cutting boards. I'm more partial to like oak or hickory or something like that, birch cutting boards. That one, no, that's gonna be a lot of sanding to get that out. Home sweet home, that's carved in. And I say no. Here's that bunny that I found on Monday, so got a broken ear. But look at this, somebody tried to paint it. It's not horrible, but I think it could be better. $5.99, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. These always sell really well for us. We can make that look super French country. And I love that it's the hen and the chicken or the, yeah, the rooster and the hen. All right, so I thought I was gonna get it, but now that I've taken those out, I'm noticing that this is missing and I'm not in the mood to like replace those. Those are pretty unique. So I'm gonna leave this here. Comment, let me know, would you leave this here or would you uh, bring it home? I do like this little enamel pot though. No lid. It's perfect planter size. They don't have a price on it.
No, it's not real. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at those. These ones are real. I'm gonna get them to go with my conch show. It's a teak wood Lazy Susan. It's not super even though, you can see it's been in there. I kind of like this bowl. It's just a hollowed out piece of tree, but $5.99, uh, I don't know. So we spent $41 at Goodwill. Always a little bit more expensive than DI, but just like, a variety. I feel like there's just different things here. Yeah, we got 13 items, so it was a little over $3 an item, so not bad. And from what I hear, um, Goodwill can be rather expensive other places, so I will take an average of $3 an item any day. So we're going to pop into the Desert Industries thrift store that's over here. I think we're in West Jordan. I yeah, can never remember what side of town it is. Um, just to see if they might have furniture. I do feel like the Riverton one has a bigger, better selection. But if they have what we need, then we can just go home. And if they don't, then no harm, no foul, because it's literally just right on the other side. There's the Goodwill. And then right across the street, way back there, you can kind of see through the rain, there's a Desert Industries. There actually is one more thrift store in this um, strip mall that I never go to. Maybe one day we'll pop in there, but I think it's more of like a- It's like a boutique. Boutique retail thrift store. I don't know. It's re always really packed, not with people, but with junk. Looks like it's gotten pretty wet over here, but there is the sun peeking out, so it's not a very big uh, storm cell. This is a little, this is a little baby one. Tip of the sword. The tip of the sword. Zeb had to go in the right door. I went in the out. Add to Zeb's amber bottle collection. Kind of the wrong time of the year, but then we'll have them for fall if nobody buys them. This is a really cool trunk. I don't know that we need it for 25 bucks, but I like it. Three bucks, why not? This would fit in the space, but I don't know that this is what we're looking for. Yeah, just for, oh yeah, it's got the whole deal in here still. Made in China. I'm gonna pass. I think they're only really cool when they're from Holland. Let's check on this one. Two dollars, it's got a chip. I think I'm gonna pass on that. It's interesting. Cute for spring, a dollar fifty. So as suspected, the furniture selection is not great here. Occasionally you get something good. We're gonna go look outside, see what they got there, but I'm not holding my breath. So these nightstands are too small. I need them to be taller for the space we have, but about this much floor space. I'm not seeing any winners that I'm like, yep, got to have that so I can paint it. It's all pretty beat up. I mean, I probably could do something with a lot of this furniture, but I don't have a ton of time. So I was really hoping to find something that was in better condition. I do like the shape of this tote, but I would ditch the snowman theme and the hearts right off of there. I think I might grab that. So we got six items for $16.50. So Zeb said it's only about 50 cents cheaper per item, but two of those items were items we'll probably sell for like the $30 range. So I feel like that was a pretty good value. And at Goodwill, that rooster set We'll probably sell for about $70, $80 once we get them painted. Those are always really popular. I will actually pay up to $25 for a rooster. We're at the last thrift store of the day. It is packed. Holy moly. We, I do know that Thursday is markdown day, and I wonder if everybody else knows that too. <laughs> we'll see what we can find. We're really here just to find furniture. We will look at small items because you never know what you're going to find. But because we have enough for the week, we're going to be super selective. We're going with the one cart today. Since we're not really hoping to get a bunch of like little things, we're mostly looking for furniture. Hopefully we can share. We'll find a bunch of little stuff. Yeah, hopefully like we can up. share. This place is packed. At least the music isn't blaring. It was like a Christmas disco at the last two places. Cute little hearth and hand magnolia rolling pin for two dollars. All right, metal candlestick. That's almost like a pedestal. I keep having to chase you down. Maybe I should have got my own card. Maybe you should have. I also like these. These little uh, 
candle holders. Well, if that's not tongue in cheek, I don't know what is. This is the right size. I actually like the shape of it, but that glass and detail in there would need to come out. Don't love that. Looks like it's for like wine or something. Yep. That is. Oh, that wouldn't be too hard to remove. I wonder if the metal can come off easily or if it's part of the glass, if it's like glued to it. Let's see if these are pamper chef. They are pamper chef. All right, I'm gonna need to have to bring me the cart because these always sell well, well for us. Just clean them up with some baking soda and a scrub brush. They're perfect. So we had a set of three of these the other day and they've got two. So I'm gonna grab these. Two dollars and two dollars. Two more rolling pins. Gonna pick these up. These are really popular this time of year, especially when Zeb stamps them or stencils them. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Twenty bucks. It's solid. It's beautiful. Refinish the top. Paint the bottom. Zeb, I found it. I think Jamie found the piece. That's good. So I don't think we need to paint that. Maybe just sand the top. Um, that's would, that's good, like it is. This is. Leave it as is. And it's yeah, like sand clear it, it, clear wax that, or oil wax it. Okay. I mean that top it is, is, it is broken over here though. This Can top you? is toasty, yeah, but. Look at this. I mean, you could probably glue that back. I think. Oh yeah, that's just veneer that can just be glued down real easy. Okay, let's do it. Let's put it in the cart. I'll carry it. Oh, John Denver. Oh yeah, you gotta get John. Yeah, can't leave John. Oh, Jillian has a record player, so I'm looking for her. How much are they a piece? A dollar? Oh, wow. I'm not really that into music, so I don't know these people. This isn't actually old, but with a new paint job, this would be cute. This little scale. That's hand blown. Mm. I'm not, I don't know why I'm not in love with that. It's like not my, I'm not seeing anything else. I was kind of interested in that, but I don't know. I, I don't think it flat packs. It would cost a lot to ship. No, it doesn't unscrew. So it does unscrew. Yeah, let's get that. It's only $5. It needs some straightening. Oh, is out. it too crooked? No, I can do it. Okay, let's grab that. Tiered trays always do well. This one, if it was a little more ornate, I would pick up that one. I'm gonna leave that one here. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's snowflakes. It's time to go home. I have ex I've officially exceeded my excursion for the day when the snowflakes start falling. So I just got to rearrange because we maybe bought more than we planned on. But I think we can fit some stuff kind of inside that. So here is everything that we found thrifting today. I will do a slow-mo at the end of the video so that way you guys can oogle all the amazing goodies that we have here. But this is gonna be our project today. It was $20 and we're just gonna remove some of this like loose wood. It's got a few spots so we're just gonna leave the way it is. We actually have decided we're going to milk paint the base and then we're just gonna refinish the top because the inlay is really beautiful and just seal that up. So that's gonna get started in the garage and I will get all of this photographed for our thrift haul for Saturday night. So other than the finish on the top, it's in okay shape. There is a little bit of damage, veneer peeling here and there. I'm just gonna get rid of that kind of stuff. But it's got a big peel going on here. So we're gonna clamp that down and see if we can get that to stick back. And then two of these legs, I'll show you in a second, have basically broken off. We're gonna glue those too. See, look at this leg. The wood is broken. All right, so run up underneath here. Hopefully, oh, we lost a little piece. I'm gonna have to get that and glue it back on. Okay. So carefully spread that around. I don't want it thick. All right, got a couple clamps on that. We'll let that sit. You know, it doesn't take long, about a half hour, that'll be ready to go. We're not sanding right there, so I'm not worried about structural integrity. It's just to keep the veneer on. It looks like someone's already tried to glue this one. The dowel is broken, the wood is broken. Looks like this needs screwed back down. It's loose, but gonna glue that up tight. Same with this side. It's broken over here too, so I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna clamp the whole thing together.
clamp that together tight. Give those wood fibers and the glue a chance to work. Normally I would sand this with 220 grit because I don't want to cut down through this dry old veneer and finish, but I have some 320. We're going to try that out and see what the 320 does. So I want the bottom to be chippy and we are getting ready for the new year, which means bringing in some pieces that are ready for spring and for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna paint this wildflower. It's a really pretty milk paint color, kind of pinky. And we're mixing it up equal parts warm water to paint. Look at Rex peeking his head over there. Hi Rex, are we painting? He's like, what you doing? What are you doing over there? And you're just gonna mix this up. And if you mix it up and you're like, okay, I need to make it a little thicker, a little thinner, just be careful to do a little at a time until you get the consistency that you want. Warm water does help. This is gonna make, I think it's like four ounces that it makes because it comes with two ounces, but only mix up what you're gonna need because the milk paint isn't gonna keep. And if you're worried about lumps, you can just use an immersion blender. On a small amount like this, a plastic fork in a cup works great. It's non-toxic, so you can paint inside the house, no problem. All right, I think all the repairs are done on this. I went ahead and screwed all the screws down tight that were loose. I'm letting this glue sit as long as we possibly can get it to. So we're gonna paint all of this side and then I'm gonna pull the clamp off. It'll have about an hour total dry time. It takes about 24 hours for that glue to cure up all the way. Also, we want it to be super chippy, so I didn't put any bond in it. But if you're worried about it all chipping off, you can add a little bit of bond and that will help your paint adhere. But this is pretty dry in a lot of spots. So I think we're gonna get chippy in some places and it should like really saturate in others. So I'm hoping the sample is enough because I don't wanna have to run to the shop. It has a lot of detail and curvy edges. It's more surface area than you'd think just painting these legs, but I think we should be fine. Well, it'll take two coats. So if I run out, I can go get another sample of paint. Although hopefully we have this color because we just had that Black Friday sale. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna go get grab a brush. I have two <laughs> brushes brush. out. We're gonna we're gonna magic a video. We're gonna stop here and now I'm gonna get a brush and help her. Sorry. Tell me how excited you are to be painting this part. I like, wish that they, we had the paint sprayer. I'm gonna do my best and then I'll just come down with like a little detail brush and just go around all the edges. How much do I love this now that we're having to paint all, <laughs> all the detail? Oh my gosh. It's For everybody okay. that's gonna be mad that we're painting an antique, I tell you I'm paying my penance right now. <laughs> wish we had a sprayer. And we're gonna have to re-sand a little of that, but. It's gonna be cute, you guys. They know the thing is, it's, people either love or they hate pink furniture, but every time we have something pink, like I don't even think we have anything pink in the shop right now. It sells fast. It sells well. I don't wanna say fast, cause it's not like overnight, but little pieces like this, people love them. It's cute for a cottage, it's cute for a baby nursery, it's cute for like um, a living room. And pink is not just for girls. I don't know if you know that, you can have pink in lots of houses. I'm gonna catch some drips. Milk paint is a little thinner than we're used to. So I always have to like check for drips, but we're getting there little by little. Three hours later, look, it's dark outside now. Although so Delia, she matches my piece. Um, it, it took us like two coats, maybe two and a half. We just kept finding spots that were missing paint. This took probably about a half a pint all total, maybe a little more because it had so many areas. We painted under the lip, we painted under this lip. Zeb's gonna take it in the garage and re-sand this edge because I decided to paint under this lip because it was like splotchy. It's just neater to do it that way. And then we'll be ready to distress and seal it. Do we want to distress in the garage or yeah. just bring it back in here and seal? Yeah, distress, so sand the edge and then distress I the garage. I think I'm just gonna hand distress like all the flat areas. If I use the orbital, I'm worried it's gonna just zing it Yeah, off. you don't need the orbital. It'll take you a minute, but you can oh, do it. What's happening here? Oh, just pull that off. <laughs> and then I'll repaint that and then I'll have to let it dry. I've been trying to get all the loose veneer off. it gets off. wet from the paint, it's like bone. Yeah, and so I'm just painting it. It's never gonna be perfect, but I'll repaint that. I don't know, maybe we can take the orbital to it. 
Yeah, it's on there pretty good, but the problem is it's really curved. So I don't know yeah, that I Yeah, you'll it. just cheat it. We need to get some foam pads for our new surf prep. Oh, we need to get that out. We have, we got it, but we got to get it out and get it set up. Yeah, we should have used it today. I kind of forgot that we got it. We've got DIY's clear wax. It's a soft, creamy wax. Cures up hard in about 30 days. And we're gonna use that on the bottom because if I use a liquid sealer over the top of this milk paint, we're gonna get a lot more chipping and I like about where it's at right now. We've got some good crackles, some good chipping right here in the cracks where it really came off, some on the legs. It's very random, very indicative of the finish you're gonna get with milk paint without using any bond. And the wax is not gonna activate that milk paint enough because it is water soluble to the point where it's gonna chip some more. It'll just seal it and we'll be done. Now I am using top coat final finishes in the matte finish and that's what I've got here in the plate and we're gonna do that on the top. All right, it is eight o'clock. Our <laughs> thrift flip is mostly done. We're gonna add an extra coat of sealer on here in a couple hours and a little bit of buffing on the wax but I'm super happy with how it turned out. Stay tuned, we will do a slow pan so you can see it. And be sure to watch the socials and maybe a live video tomorrow in the shop so you can see what this looks like all staged up. Yeah, the 320 grit for the record was the win. It got this top so nice and smooth and all those water spots are gone. $20 well spent. Thanks for thrifting with us at the Goodwill and at Deseret Industries today. If you need any wildflower milk paint clear wax or we use sweet pickens top coat final finishes in matte where can they get that zip jamierayvintage.com and if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to jamie ray vintage for more diy we'll see you on the next episode cody what do you think you like it is it all right <laughs> he's leaving